Hey guys, we are back. Um, in the last episode, we went around the city and collected the four other bracers. Uh, we also found out that Neil has gone missing and that Julia left the cathedral. So she's also MIA. Um, and we asked all the bracers to come back and meet us at the guild so we can develop a strategy and plan to rescue all the kidnapped victims. The other bracers are already assembled. Have you heard from the royal guardsman or the reporter? Sorry, sir. No contact. But we believe we've gathered the intelligence we need. I see. We can conclude with fair certainty, then, that Princess Claudia is inside the villa. It's unfortunate that you were unable to make contact with the royal guardsman, but at least we now know they haven't been captured. Shall we get started, then? Yes. We need to start working out the details of the rescue operation. The military strategy music. I love it. Are we all up to date on the pertinent details of the Intelligence Division's planned coup d'etat, then? Given this information, we should consider ourselves under contractual obligation to Queen Alicia. I can barely believe what I'm hearing. I'm ashamed of myself for not noticing something was amiss sooner. I was suspicious of those special ops troops from the beginning, but I really trusted Colonel Richard. And he was behind the Sky Bandits and Major Dalmore. We got completely snowed. And we can't let them get away with it, that's for sure. Can you all be counted on to cooperate in this assignment? Damn straight! Just lead the way. I owe these guys some black eyes. Rhyme unintended. Count me in, for sure. This is gonna be good. We've got strong allies. We'll prevail without a doubt. Now, let me explain the details of this mission. We have to move fast, as there are lives at stake here. It's not the most elegant approach, but I believe taking control of the villa through a frontal assault is our best option. We don't have time to try and find some route to infiltrate, so I guess that's the only option we've got. How will we be divided? We'll split into two groups, a decoy team and a rescue team. The decoy team will draw the attention of the main forces, while the rescue team makes its way into the villa. Remember though, we're dealing with the Intelligence Division's special ops here. If I may, I'd like to suggest we also add an ambush team to aid the decoy team, and a second decoy team to assist the rescue team. Whew. Man, we're really teaming with teams here. <laughs> but why do we need those? The ambush team would lie in wait until the decoy team draws out the enemy forces, and then both teams could attack at once. Meanwhile, the second decoy team would attempt to break the enemy's ranks, allowing the rescue team to enter the villa more easily. Ah, yes. I guess that's a good point. Even Zod's a little bit. But do we have enough members to spread among four squads? No, we don't. We've contacted other guild branches, but with the airships grounded, we're pretty much on our own. Well, crap. If only we had Shira and Agate. However, I agree with Zen that trying to carry out this operation with only two squads is risky. We may need to re-examine this strategy. If numbers are all you lack, maybe we can be of assistance? Julia! Hey, Lieutenant Schwarz. Well now, if it isn't Sister Military. <laughs> Sister Military, I like it. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I am Royal Guardsman Sub-Commander Lieutenant Julia Schwarz. The Royal Guardsmen are here at your disposal for this operation. Cool, how many? Understood. Your participation will be most invaluable. I count nine soldiers in your squad, including yourself. That's a lot of people. My remaining troops are incognito, stationed all throughout the city. I can assemble them within the hour. That's great, but Lieutenant Schwarz, how did you know we were going to try to save the hostages? We tried to find you at the cathedral and tell you, but you had already disappeared. Did you? My apologies. All I knew was that you had accepted the Queen's mission. I found out last night. Last night? We'd only just met with the Queen last night ourselves. Yes, I'm aware of that. We have sources for... military intelligence of this sort. All that matters now is that Her Highness gave us the order to assist, and we are happy to do it. Sources? I want sources. Can I share some of yours? Um, I... I don't... 
Let's leave it at no, Estelle. <laughs> More importantly, the Guardsmen's assistance will give us the extra forces we need to fill the ambush and support teams. Indeed, with this additional manpower, I believe our chances of success have increased exponentially. And with extra manpower secured, we should start deciding on the teams immediately. Roger that. You need two decoy teams, right? I believe five of my troops should be sufficient for one of them. Yeah, I'd say those Royal Guard uniforms should definitely catch their attention. My thoughts exactly. We'll target the Intelligence Division's aerial squadron stationed just on the outskirts of the Herb Scenic Route. Wait a sec. Aerial squadron? You don't mean... I'm afraid she does. It's on the scenic route's outskirts. Now that you mention it, there is a stretch of land out there that's been completely back blockaded. According to my intelligence, there's only a skeleton crew of guards stationed there. If we attack, they will have no alternative but to call the villa for reinforcements. Oh, I get it. That's some good decoying right there. And then when the reinforcements show up, the ambush team pops in and takes them all out, right? We should form that ambush team, then. I knew all those years of hunting down monsters in the bush would pay off one day. <laughs> and we've got a gunner, too. We'll be able to handle this, no problem. Alright, two teams locked down. Now for rescue and decoy two. I think the second decoy team should also be comprised of my royal guardsmen. The special ops will definitely drop their guards more readily to apprehend them. So that leaves us for the rescue team. All of the other teams will be acting to provide cover for us. Ours will be the most important assignment on the field by far. This is no game. You're playing an actual role in a crucial turning point for our history. Make sure you're up to the task. No pressure. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm Estelle. We have the same personality a lot of times. Sheesh, no pressure. There's no need to worry. We will persevere. History favors the just. Besides, you guys are the Grand Cell Martial Arts Competition Champions. And we'll be the ones keeping the majority of the enemy force at bay. Or busy at bay. Both work, I guess. Hopefully all you'll need to worry about are the hostages. Julia, Elman, Zin, I... We, Estelle. The word you're looking for is we. We can do this, and we will. You're right. You are so, so right. We're gonna kick some special ops. Special ops's special asses. That is really hard to say. That's the spirit, and that's the plan. The operation will begin at nightfall. We'll use the dark for cover. Once the operation begins, you won't have any opportunity to return to the city. So if you still have loose ends to tie up, speak now or forever hold your peace. Man, this is getting pretty real. I will ensure that her highness is made aware of the plan. All right, everyone. Tonight. Here. Got it? <sighs> I'll leave the breaking and entering to you guys. So let's get pulling. Okay. I never actually read this stuff fully. And I get very confused as to which arts I can get. I'm cast arts is cut. Okay, that doesn't really help me. I can get all of that information from the actual quartz things. get like the really good oh here okay oh 
Oh, Titanic Roar is all? That's crazy. Volcanic Rave, jeez. So yeah, this is all the information that I didn't have before. Because I never really looked in here. Oh, the math, though. The math will hurt my head. I could maybe get Titanic Roar on Joshua, because I want his to stay... Earth, so I can keep, like, Earth Wall. So to get Titanic Roar, I need eight Earth and four... Yellow. Maybe do that on his main line. So I would need to swap something out. More, but these can only be. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have no idea what I want. I'm assuming this one can also only be time quartz, yeah. So I'd have to swap out either EP cut 2 or EP2. If I swap this one out, I need something with three earth and one more yellow and I don't know what has that. Let's look at these. I don't know if I can get it with what I have right now. I don't think so. I don't think I have the right combination of things. No, I don't. Um... I wonder if there's anything I could make him that would have the right combinations. I would like him to stay kind of earth focused, so getting him Titanic Roar seems to make more sense than trying to get Estelle Titanic Roar. But I don't know if I can get the correct combination of stuff right now. I don't think I can. What do we have here? I need something that's. Three and one, which I don't think I'm gonna get. No. This is what happens when I try to like learn things. I just end up confusing myself. What if I... So why is that not working? So I have five there. If I switch that to a three, that would give me that eight there. And I have more than four there. And it's on oh, that's why. Because this Yeah, this one's in a different line. That's why I was looking at that. Um Yeah, I don't think I can. I end up just confusing myself and getting, like, stuck. <laughs> My brain gets stuck on what I'm trying to do. Yeah, it looks like I can't get him Titanic Roar right now. At least not with the ones I have. 
What does it have? I could maybe get him Titanic Roar. But I would need another defense three, I think. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, are any of these high enough? Yeah, I would have to change his significantly to get it. Um, I mean, I really don't need that one, to be completely honest with you. Make another defense three? Yes, I can. Let's just swap you out for defense three. And then any of the other earth courts plus something that gives at least one yellow should, in theory. No, still not working. What in the world? Oh yeah, because I keep not looking at the lines. Um, that's why I'm not paying attention to the lines well enough. See, I just confuse myself when I do this. I think I would need to Google <laughs> how to get Titanic Roar. Is this line I currently have five and three, so I need another three and one. But I don't think I can do that with one quartz. His lines are just inconvenient. <laughs> that's that's what it boils down to. I don't think I can easily get Titanic Roar. Um, actually, that's what I want. Arrow Storm would be nice, but I don't remember if Estelle has it right now. She does, um, because this one is massively high. And then that one's pretty high. Is there anything else I would want to get for hers instead? Um, what about support magic? That was I would need four, two, and one. If I did that, I would possibly lose Laterra, which I don't want to do. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> Confusing myself. I feel like this is not helping me. Yeah, if I want Estelle to be support, this time elemental one is not helping me at all. Because I will need five blue, two earth, two yellow, and one white. I have more than enough blue. I don't need this time elemental. something earth. Ah! That's all I have to do. Swap one of these out for an earth and I'm good. 
It'll give me Thelus. It'll give me Earthwall. What else does she have now? Elatera, Thelus, Earthwall. Still have Aerostorm and Plasma Wave. Uh, I lost White Gehenna, but that's okay. That makes Estelle insanely useful. Okay. Yeah, she's super useful now for support and um, arts attack. And Joshua still has some good AoE and earth wall. I might leave his that way. Um, what do I want for Zinn? No idea what I want for his. Um... Volcanic Rave sounds good, but I don't know if I can actually get it, because it's 8, 4, and 2. Oh yeah, his lines are dumb. Um, yeah, I don't know what I can get him. His center quartz is going to determine what I can do for him. And the other two are both heavily earth-oriented now. So I, maybe I don't want earth there? Oh, but I have to have earth there. Okay, so you can pretty much only get things with high earth values. <laughs> What am I trying to get him? I already forget. What am I trying to get him right now? Volcanic Grave is what I was going for. Which I don't think I can do. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know what I want to give him. I have no idea. Sure. <laughs> Good enough. I give up. I have no idea what I want, but I made Estelle way more useful now. Like, way more useful. So look at all this. She's got Latera, she's got Thelus, Earthwall, both her and Joshua have that now. Um, Stone Impact, which is pretty nice. Blue Impact is pretty nice. Aerial's useful. Aero Storm is going to be incredibly useful. Plasma Wave is going to be really useful. So yeah, Estelle should be in really good shape now. And Joshua still has Earth Wall. And he has Waikahana. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but we're just going to go with it. Uh, he also has Stone Impact. And clock up, which I don't ever use. Probably should, but I don't. And then you got a little bit of healing, earth wall, stone impact, blue impact. Yeah, that, sh that should be good, I think. I we're just gonna go with it. I'm really happy that I got a stealth Ellis though. Now that I just confused myself for ten minutes. We're going to end this episode right here, and then in the next one we'll actually start that quest line of rescuing the hostages. My brain hurts now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that one was confusing, but 
the next episode should be a lot more entertaining. I hope you have a great day and I will catch you next time.